Welcome back to week two, day two, and it is a breakthrough. We're gonna find your form and perfect your form doing as many reps as possible in 30 seconds with 30 seconds of rest. Are you ready to express your fitness? Day two, week two starts now. All right, so let's warm that back up before we commit to today's workout. It's very, very important. The back is something that is the foundation of all movement. It's your core strength. It's your ability to stay functional for your entire life. So let's give it the respect it deserves. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with a right over left, okay? And what we wanna start doing is a lot of back pain, a lot of back injuries are caused by not enough range of motion and stiffness in the hamstring and glutes. So we wanna stretch the hamstrings and glutes here. So we're gonna keep the spine straight. We're gonna inhale and exhale. You can put your hands on your legs. It's fine, just as long as the spine stays straight and the chest stays up, okay? So we're gonna inhale, exhale. So we're gonna go back up in the starting position. Try to go a little deeper and stay active. A lot of people are very static with stretching. It's, it's much better to stay active. So we'll go up one more. And the goal here is to be almost 90 degrees. Okay, you're gonna feel that all in the hamstring and the glutes here because that leg is locked in and straight. And you're gonna have that position where you're sole focus is to open up the hamstrings and glutes so that the back can be warmed up properly. So we're going to go back over to the other side, perform the exact same thing. Chest up. Good. Inhale. Work your way deeper and deeper. Your goal here is to be 90 degrees, right angle, as best as possible. Hopefully I'm demonstrating that properly. And then inhale. Okay, so to complete the back stretch and warm up, we're gonna switch positions here. We're gonna put our toes together. And we're gonna reach down and touch the floor. Now, if you cannot touch the floor, it's okay. The goal here is not perfection. The goal here is progress. We're gonna take a deep breath. Keep your head up, spine straight. We're just gonna slide our hands down. Keep your knees slightly bent here and back up. Exhale, into the stretch. Keep those hands nice and tight on the knees, spine straight. Let's see how low we can go. One more. The last portion here, we're gonna stay in this position and all we're going to do is, is from the hinge, from the hip, what we're gonna do is, is just bring the back up and arms out wide. Hold and repeat. Up, and repeat. You're gonna feel that lower lumbar, that engagement here activates the lats, the erector spinae, the rhomboids, the traps, and posterior delts as you take flight. And again, Remember, knees are slightly bent, never locked. Now you're ready to go. Let me run you through the first movement, superhero. So we're gonna get down on our stomach on the floor here. We're just gonna relax for a second, put our hands in front. 
And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna engage their arms and keep our thighs off the ground. So we're gonna bring our legs up, keep our thighs up, keep our core strong. We're gonna activate the entire posterior chain, okay? We're gonna squeeze up and three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, so your second exercise for today's back workout is back bridges. Let's hit the floor. Just lay flat on the back. Keep the heels, feet together, shoulder width apart. And I want your elbows to your side here because they're gonna play an important role in activating your lats. So we're gonna take a deep breath. And on the count of three, we're gonna roll up. One, two, and three. Let's go. All right, so let's get into our next back exercise. It's gonna be the alternating superheroes. Take it to the floor. Lie flat like we did. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do left leg, right arm, okay? Like so. And hold, inhale, exhale. Let's get it going. The next back exercise, it's called the Cobra Slide. We're gonna get down on the floor again. You probably know where this is gonna go. We're gonna reach out like we did with the superheroes. We're gonna engage those lats with your palms flat on the floor and your hands directly above your head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna engage these lats as we slide those hands in. Let's do it. Okay, so the next movement in your back workout is bird dogs. Let me show you. So we're gonna get in the position on the floor. You can start from your knees. Uh, a lot of times if you wanna get more advanced, you can stay on your toes, keep the knees off the floor. But we're gonna activate one leg and one arm at a time. Inhale, exhale. Let's go. Wow, what an amazing back workout that was. Now we're gonna to transition to stimulating those lower abdominals with some leg lifts. Let's get our form back on the floor. 
Let's relax, take a deep breath. Some people like to put their hands underneath. So let's go ahead and engage that leg lift. Let's just do a 45 degree movement and down. You're gonna perform as many reps as you can. Let's go. Wow, what an amazing back workout that was. Let's start cooling down now. Let's start bringing our heart rate down, taking some deep breaths. And now we're gonna focus on some specific movements to stretch and cool down that back you just worked out. So let's focus, we'll put one hand on the hip, okay? And as you're aware of that heart rate, let's just bring that heart rate down. Always exhale through the mouth. That's gonna drop that heart rate down. And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna reach over and grab that elbow, and we're just gonna pull that lat. Now, instead of holding your hand here, a lot of, a lot of times, because there's anatomical differences between people, everyone's not made the same. So we're just gonna put our fist on your hip, and we're gonna turn that lat and shoulder over. So what you wanna feel here is a nice stretch in the posterior delts, the rhomboids, the traps. We're gonna pull that around. We'll keep that going for 10, 15 seconds as you breathe through. Stay cool, stay relaxed. Great job today. Initiate another breath, hand on the other side, reach around. Slowly feel that traction, nice and relaxed. Don't force it, just slowly feel that traction, start to pull those muscles out. Exhale. Monitor your heart rate, let's keep the heart rate, bringing it down, bringing it down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach forward all the way out. You see how I'm gonna extend and stretch my lats, I'm gonna reach out, rotate and pull in. Squeeze and hold. 10 seconds and release, one more time. Reach out, rotate, pull in. Squeeze, exhale. All right, the next cool down for the back, we're just gonna go ahead, keep our spine straight, put our hands on our knees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate over. Keep that spine straight. Keep that view forward. Inhale, exhale. Listen to that heartbeat, that heart rate. Cool down, you guys did a great job today. Excellent work, you put your heart into it. Inhale, exhale. One more. Good stretch. Try to feel it all the way down, the bottom of your back. Pull on those lats where the muscle insertion is. Your insertion is where the muscle actually ties in at the very bottom of your back on your hip. So you can feel that part of your lat being stretched with this movement. Wow, what a great job you did today. Thanks so much for having me as your guide, your coach, and your motivator. Can't wait to see you tomorrow.